Annyeong everyone, this is Drew from Soldier Cars and today I will be reviewing the Maxus G50 1.5 liter turbocharged gasoline engine premium variant. This is the top of the line out of the four variants you can find in the Maxus G50 lineup. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Thank you and please do follow Maxus Philippines in their social media accounts. All right, this one costs 1,300,000. 38,000 pesos SRP. This is the top of the line. Shija. The Maxus G50 premium variant comes with a 1.5 liter turbocharged gasoline engine that does 167 horsepower and 250 Newton meters of torque. And the transmission is actually a 7 speed dual clutch transmission. Now, there are two types the wet and the dry. This one has the dry. This car is actually an 8 seater. So MPVs and it moves a lot of people. This surely is of great value for your money. But will it do better than the Innova? Please watch to find out. Now this top of the line has all the bells and whistles that this Maxus G50 offers. It has a 12.3 inch infotainment system. It has a 7 inch digital instrument cluster. This one even has a wireless charging pad. It also has power lift gate and the list just goes on and on and on. So please stay and watch to find out more why this car has great value for your money. For the dimension, it has 4,825 by 1,825 by 1,778 by wheelbase of 2,800 millimeters. Let us start from the front fascia. As you can see, the car is actually really nice looking. It looks very stylish. Uh, the stylish level is like how Japanese people would somehow tune their cars and put some body kits. It looks as if it has those body kits that you would have wanted to install. Just looking at this full LED headlight system right here, the daytime running light right here is amazing. The fog lamps, they look fantastic. Even if they are off, they look amazing. Look at the housing of the projector lamp right there. That's a really nice touch to design. The moment you see this Maxus, the first thing you might say is like, what is that Maxus? It must be expensive. And I'm not kidding. It does look very expensive, all right? Then with this huge chrome grille right here that says Maxus on your face and there's a front camera even and you also get front sensors in this model and look at the lower lip of the front a bumper it does look very sporty as well so because there's actually a plastic lip or lower lip right there we cannot see anything it is not just for fun it is actually functional and it does divert air from the front to the wheel well. This car is an MPV, an eight-seater MPV that has normally opening doors for the second row. So this is not a van for me at least. Now, looking at the wheel, we have 215-55R17s, gunmetal finish, alloy wheel with a really turbo design looks really nice with the Maxus center cap and it has the ventilated disc braking system as well. Now this car comes with McPherson struts for the front and torsion beam for the rear. Okay, we have chrome accents, very nice. Also aluminum roof rail that is also functional. Look at the side mirror, it is actually huge and the mirror is very good in visibility. It comes with the side repeater. It also comes with 
a camera lens for that 360 view. As you know, I'm a big fan of 360 camera. This car also comes with a keyless entry system. So you just press this. There you go. It is also power folding. Then open it. Some black cladding. Because the B and the C pillars are blacked out, it looks like a floating roof design. And this car also comes with a disc braking system here at the back. And normally, you don't get that in the mainstream vehicles. The interesting fact of this MPV is that the visibility is amazing even for the third row person. Just look at that. That's a lot of window space. So it has a very nice, very unique, unusual design right there. And then we have the turn signal and the uh, reverse lamp is there. Okay, so turn signal is right there. Hold on. Let's see which one is the turn signal. So we have lights right there. And we have nice LED fog lamp. We also have very nice turn signals right here. We have the reverse light and the reflector at the bottom. We have a huge Maxus uh, written and the chrome line just makes the car more premium. G50, we have a rear backup camera. We have more lights here. The lights are actually in halogen. And there's actually a button right here so we can release the trunk. Let me show you that just soon. And we have three backup sensors. We also have a third brake light down here and another brake light up there. So this car has everything sorted out. The gas cap is on the right side. So what do you think, guys? It is actually huge. I'll just insert a picture of this one with the Alphard side by side. It does look amazing. Please, guys, don't forget to like this video and follow Maxus Philippines in their social media accounts. Thank you. Now let me bring you to the inside. Let us start from the door panel. The door panel is actually with plastic here, with some plastic design material, silver metallic finish. This area is actually perforated leather with red stitching. This area is super soft leather. My goodness, that feels very nice. Power windows, fully automatic up and down for all windows. The door lock and unlock. This car comes with speed sensing door locks. We have speaker here. We have power tailgate system and the gas cup release, which is on the right side. So this might be your hint. It's on the right. Compartment with bottle holder. For the seats, we have powered seats. Really nice with very nice, very soft couch-like feeling with different contrasts and stitchings and this one makes like this ones are found in like expensive cars and it is also supplied the headrest is also nice as well you also get airbags on the seats themselves now the seats are really comfortable as i've said they are like couch all right and they are powered 1,338,000 pesos and it starts with 1,088,000 pesos for the lowest variant, okay? Then we have some uh, compartment here, hood release. I like this one, it's very big, very straightforward. I can rest my foot there any time of the day. Okay, let's go inside, let's check it out. So this is the dashboard, there you go. Very spacious here with speakers at the end and we have very nice windows right there. It's actually big. Sometimes they are there, but it's too tiny. But this one, it is big and useful for the visibility. Okay, and there's like crease there. This is plastic with stitching. And we have uh, metallic silver accents and perforated leather accents. All right, these are actually leather and soft touch everywhere. This is plastic. There's side mirror controls. Uh, headlight leveler, traction on and off. There's a manual steering wheel adjustment. It is just up and down. It doesn't go in and out. Automatic lighting system, uh, manual 
windshield wiper as you can see we have two needles for one for the tachometer one for the speedometer and we have a seven inch digital instrument cluster we have a 12.3 inch head unit right there oh so there is actually a physical button here that is very good for the steering wheel it is wrapped in leather uh, it's not the soft type of leather maxus airbag audio control cruise control and computer control there you go we have chrome accents and some blanks here glossy material with silver metallic flat bottom type of steering wheel okay and we have a push start button right here brushed aluminum chrome hazard it's a manual type of air condition which i like more than the touch touch all right so the controls actually when you control it it actually shows on the head unit but you cannot actually touch it to control the air condition system it is an automatic single zone climate control system you also get blowers at the second row and the third row then 12 volt 5 volt usb charge another usb port little compartment silver metallic the seven speed dct uh, shift lever and it also comes with sports mode manual mode with leather and red stitching gloss materials and here we have e-brake and auto brake hold button right there cup holders we have a wireless charging pad for your smart devices and we have the glove box right there so where's the sunglass case it is actually here right mostly you don't get a grab handle for the driver so they might as well use this space for that efficiency okay sun visor with light sun visor with light we have led map lights controls for the sunroof the panoramic sunroof and it's not kidding it is huge one more time huge i say it's so huge and that's a very good thing room mirror all right and the cubby hole here it is very soft with red stitching and this is how much space you get let me bring you to the second row how about the second row this hard plastic with that design earlier brushed aluminum leather this is all leather guys speaker window compartment with bottle holder now the second row seat look nice as well the controls are manual of course three headrests they look really soft and nice the amenities you get here are plenty this is what you would see when you are sitting here in the second row is it similar with your other mpvs please do let me know in the comment section below the amenities you get here at the back are plentiful when i say plentiful of course the aircon the grab handle individual reading light in led the panoramic sunroof you also get your personal table not only here but also here for you to fold it just press it down it will go back then we have net pouches here okay and then the leg room is amazing all right it is actually adjustable so far it is good 12 volt 5 volt usb charger compartment yes you get your own blower for the second row and the third row there you go so what more can you ask for of course armrest with cup holders and that's a very nice touch as you can see you see these wrinkles whenever i see those wrinkles i feel that the car is a bit more premium and it will have better or one of the best comfort and that is actually the case for this maxus when you are here at the back the seats are actually very cozy and you feel at home how are we going to enter the third row let me show you how do you enter the third row you have two 
or three adjustment levers for this right side. Here, going forward and backward. This one to recline and this one to actually make it recline then slide. So this is the one touch that you want to find when you want to go to the third row, okay? So pull it, so it goes like that and push it. So that, that's how it's done. Uh, because we're in Asia, of course, we have, we use the right lane for going straight. It is only available on the right side for safety. So just enter like that and we're good. So for you to put back the folded seat, you don't do this first. You have to kind of grab on the body and then pull it backwards first. All right, then you lock it. Then you can do further adjusting like this, like this. All right, I am 5'10 or 5'11. So it is not the best room for me, but for people smaller like kids, this is actually more than enough. But just looking at this seat, it is very wide. And that is why you will suffer a bit here. But as you know, this second row is adjustable forward and backward. Get a good friend who is willing to help you, who are willing to give you more leg room. You have ISO fix points everywhere. You have tether points everywhere. But if you don't have cooperation, it would always be the best not to sit here or sit here alone and use it as a bench bed all right now let me bring you to the trunk area so just do this and push all right that's how you exit the vehicle Ta we are here in the trunk area let us open the trunk this is power operated there you go amazing as you can see that's how much cargo space we have even with this third row up all right but if we fold this it will have far more um, space there you go so i can fold it and i can also fold this there you go they will fold flat guys they will fold flat i reclined the second row that's why it wouldn't go down and we have our tools and jack early warning device and more cargo space here and more space here as well with halogen type of light right there so this car is very utilitarian guys it is not just just that car all right and there you go you can adjust it that way you can also press this to actually close it but will it stop if i mess with it okay it stops when i mess with it okay so it just goes back so it is very safe if it detects something it will stop and go back that is a very good touch all right now let me show you the engine bay oh, oh it's very hot there you go 1.5 liter turbo gasoline engine the rest is covered within and there's insulation and you have manual strut here oh my hand is burning let's drop it thank you for watching everyone Thank you, Maxus Philippines, for letting us try out this car for a few days. If you haven't followed them in their social media accounts, please do follow them. And may your dreams come true, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Annyeong!